Let's begin configuring service desk. The first step is to import the users. You should have identified and created groups for service desk administrators, customers, the finance function if you are using the full ITIL version, the managers, partners, supervisors and technicians. The last two are the ones who will be involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the service desk. It is preferable if each user has his or her personal data and official data populated, including information in the general, organization, profile tabs, etc. You can choose the attribute editor to populate the data which is missing. Refer to the prerequisites video link 1.4. Deploying Service Desk defining end users and end user data for more details. Once you determine that all of your end users whom you are planning to service in the Service Desk have their data populated, you can now begin the configuration of data import inside the Service Desk itself. Go to the Setup tab in the Administrator portal and click on LDAP. Add the LDAP source, the Active Directory or E Directory. Please note, if you have the Zenworks already installed, the name of the LDAP source should match that in the Zenworks configuration for user sources. Provide the details of your user source as shown and test your connection. Now you need to add the user groups if you had named them differently in the Active Directory. Click on Advanced and Edit. Change the names of the user groups to those in the Active Directory. You have the option to import end users, customers, and also the customer organizations. In this example, we make use of the geographic location as the separator. If you configured the organizational hierarchy, choose to import line managers for end users too. This is important when you configure requests which have approvals required. Once you save and test once again, you should see that the different groups are populated with the correct numbers. The background import task is executed and the message will show once the task is completed. Click done to complete the commit to the database. You can see the import summary in the alert section. Click on the alerts and you will see the details including any warnings or errors for specific users. On clicking users, you should now see the customers which is the end users tab populated along with the email address, phone number and other details. These are the end users whom you will provide service to in your enterprise. Click on any end user and confirm that the details are correctly populated. Click on the tab next to customers, the users. These are the technicians who will work on the tickets, create articles, etc. If you had already mapped out the hierarchy and the functions and the duties they will perform in the Active Directory groups itself, they will show up with those attributes populated in Service Desk. You can log out of the system and log back in using one of the administrator's login. The password is synced to that of the LDAP password, you need not set it again. In this example, we use Ron, the administrator's login.